Good morning, everybody. My name is Sean Carlson from Blackjack 98 Enterprises in Vancouver, Canada. It is just after 5 a.m. on Wednesday, June 7th. My next project for pressure washing is Kyle's uh, Cafe and the Solo Market. I'm in the back alley of Kyle's right now. And as you can see behind me, there is Commercial Drive, there is the dollar store. And I'm going to do a uh, switched camera around so you can see the, the work that I'm about to do. So this here is the alleyway of Kyle's. There's Commercial Drive. Uh, usually what I do is from the concrete here all the way up to Solos. And the reason why is because of this area here. This is the area in front of Kyle's window where they serve people and this is what it looks like. This is like very gross. So this would be the third time that I would be pressure washing this area. Also up to that corner. From that corner all the way up to that tree. All the way up to the curb. To that curb. Just that one area in less than two hours from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. is what I will be doing. Uh, hook up to that water source like right there and this is what I try to get rid of and make it clean so it's just gonna be the same thing as I did at the back alley washing this all up with the broom laundry soap and water and uh, as you can tell it's there's some uh, stains here in the end here where the water pools which will Ultimately, be real gunk will be after I'm done all this, so I'll have a garbage can on with me. And yeah, this is uh, this is what I'll be working on for later this morning. Right now, I'm gonna go get a Timmy's French Vanilla. When I come back, I go get all my giddy up and haul it out here. All right, so I'm getting everything ready to go head over to Kyle's. This is what my giddy up looks like, my big badass motherfucker. The garden hoses and the pressure washer hose. The, uh, the cleaner, the concrete cleaner that I use. The stuff here, put it on the concrete and then dissolve all the dirt on top. Uh, my laundry soap, garbage bags, a pair of pliers, a nozzle, the broom. This broom is what I use to uh, Scrub the concrete. This is what I'm going to use to pick up the garbage. This is not Oscar. And I'm just going to start wheeling this out towards Kyle's right now and just start the first hour of sweeping and soaping. So let's head on out there. Okay, so I'm going to stand in this spot right here. And we're going to do a slow pan left to right of the area. So you can have an idea of what it looks like before and after. Okay. One of the other things that I had also done for Kyle's was I installed bird netting on top. And that was to prevent the birds from shitting on the tables where their people are being served. A lot of you are wondering why the hell would I do something like this? A lot of you are wondering why the hell I would do something like this. It has to do with the fact that I was always walking back and forth here from work and going to work and seeing people's miserable eating conditions in front of the restaurant here. And I took like grossness to it because nobody should eat under those conditions and you shouldn't be serving people under those conditions too. I took it upon myself to clean it. So therefore, this would be my third time cleaning the sidewalk for Kyle's. And the reason why I chose Kyle's is because of the lady that works there. I have a crush on the Chinese lady that works there. She is cute. I like her. And yeah, that's about uh, what's going to happen today again. So let me get to it. All right, so after soaping it up with the broom and the concrete cleaner, I'm just letting it all set in now and soak in. It is not 7 o'clock yet, but I'm going to start my big badass motherfucker at 7. Until then, I'm going to sweep all this debris 
all the way along here in that, in that curve area. I'm going to sweep that into this area of where it's pooling. So that way all that debris can absorb the dirty water and all the clean water can run off. That dirty water will be scooped up into my garbage bags that I have in my cart here. So just only where the affected areas, where the dirt and the grease were, is what I'm focusing on. One of the other disgusting areas of Kyle's is the telephone pole. A lot of people use this as their personal washroom. Piss and shit. So, I usually wash up to right about this point right here. And then it goes into there. Usually it's just soap and water. I use that broom there to sweep out all the, the rocks and the debris away from the drain so that way it doesn't go into the drain. And then I also wash the telephone pole about four feet up on the wall all the way up to that point. And then I soak this area with soap and water so that way it smells nice. Right now it does not. And yeah, the alleyway too. Yeah, so I'm using the garden hose on jet spray. And what I'm doing is I'm just flushing out the, uh, the loose garbage off the concrete, as you can see right there. It's all gonna pull into that area there, whoops. And then I'm just gonna use the pressure washer to dig deep down into the concrete like a pressure washer is meant to do. I'm using the garden hose just to get the loose stuff off and in out of the cracks and when I'm pressure washing there will be less debris flying around in the air. Alright, so it's 6.51 right now. I've got about 9 minutes to get my big badass motherfucker ready. But as you can see, I went and washed all the loose stuff off the, the top and it looks already better. It'll look better throughout the day when this is all dried up. But I still have yet to pressure wash it. All that sludge and gunk that I was talking about is in the curb right there. That will be swept up and put into garbage bags. And as you can see, all the, all the uh, dirt and crap is piling up right here as I thought. Okay, so I'm going to hook up my big badass motherfucker and we're going to start pressure washing. Okay, starting instructions. Once you have your garden hose hooked up, and the hose hooked up to your wand purge all the air out of it, which means run the water and make sure there's zero air coming out of it. It should be like one solid flow. Once you got all the air purged onto it, turn it on. I'm gonna turn the fuel on so I have the fuel flow. We're going to put it on choke, and then we're going to put it on rabbit. And one of the other things I remembered, this has to be turned all the way down, turn this, spun this way. Spinning it this way increases the pressure on the pump, which makes the rewind hard to pull. So turn it all the way out so that way there is little pressure on the pump, and then you can start this. Oh, the time right now is 6.57 a.m. I'm going to wait till 7.05 to fire this up. Just in case some do-gooder has a problem with me starting it up before the exact noise bylaw hours at 7 a.m. I'm going to do 7.05. So, after that, then we start in that corner all the way along here. Okay, everybody, 7.05, so I'm going to give this uh, thing a yank. And we're going to listen to it start up. My big badass motherfucker. Remember, it's on choke. Okay, everybody, I'm all done my pressure washing. I want to reiterate to everybody that whatever you do, do not 
wash your pressure washer directly after using it while it is still hot by rinsing it off with the cold water that you used to what and the reason why you do not do that is because you will crack the engine block if I had done that with this this would be an $1,800 piece of junk that I cannot fix and the warranty probably will not cover it but anyhow here we have a sidewalk it's nicely pressure washed it's all wet right now so in a couple hours this is all gonna be dry and I'm gonna sweep up all that crap there that is along the curb solo markets will be pleased the guy who owns it is uh, the president of the Muslim Association in Vancouver this here is Kyle's Cafe. When the sun dries up, this will all look a little bit better. I'll do pictures later attached to this video at the end of it. So here we go. We're standing exactly where we were before. I'll probably take pictures later at the end of the video. The uh, 4200 PSI could not get that gum off the sidewalk as you can see. There's a lot of things that I could not get off, like the graffiti off the uh, metal there. Everywhere that you see that stuck onto the concrete, it could not get off with that, no matter how much I tried. It's a bit stuck. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will conclude today's activities.